of his life, he got more and more impressionistic. Actually, what Remington really wanted to be was an actual artist painter where he would display his works in a gallery and they would be sold and so forth. He was more of a commercial artist. But he ended up as a uh, sort of uh, illustrator because that's how he made his money. And uh, because when he went out west, he brought these very realistic works back. And everybody in the east in New York wanted to see what the wild savages looked like, you see. So Remington was giving it to them. Uh, but this is a little later, 1905, 1906. And it's evening in the desert, Navajo. And when you look closely, just all the different colors that are combined. Uh, it's, I look at it and I've never been out west, but it's sort of what I'd imagine it to be. Anybody been out west? Mm -hmm. Oh, you all have? Okay, is this, well, sir. is this true to, to life? Um, yes, ma'am. Yeah, okay. Yes, <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> um, this, but uh, again, when you look at it closely and you can talk about all the different colors, there are pinks and blues and whites in the mountain. And here you have sort of the greens and again a lot of pinks which gives you the feeling of warmth. Um, and they are not in a lot of detail uh, because Remington is moving towards a more impressionist style. Uh, so that, uh, I mean they're realistic. But it's really not, when you look at the horse. Not as tight, right. They're not tight, it's risen now. 